An unrivaled sumo wrestler once served a great feudal lord, dismissed after giving to drink. He fell to a life of brigandry, and so was dubbed Juzo the Drunkard. Yeah, we remember that guy. He's in the uh, the past version of the world. So, 17 vitality, 8 attack power. And now we're kind of back to where we were before the, the guy the other day dropped the big old spoiler. Um, lots of level ups to get any more anything there. But maybe... Maybe we can get some other skill passive that would help me out. I might get more over, just for fun. Here we go. Let's get some let's get some awesome Sekiro story going. お主のことはよく覚えているぞ。参りましょう。この袋は御子様の尊い。お守りしたいだけにございます。お主は龍院に見入られたか。話すことはない。猿がよい。愛すみませぬが懐かしきこの眺めをもうしばし堪能したく満足しましたら帰ります。yeah, usually height is absolutely uh, fantastic for defense. I wonder how they got to you. Kind of interesting. I bet there's something interesting that, that happened there if you do go back through an hour of the footage and see what, what's what. Hmm. <laughs> みこ様の あの巫女はお前の主ではない。巫女様を捨てる。そうじゃ、狼よ。父の言葉に従い。巫女を捨てよ。Break the iron code, stay loyal to Kuro. できませぬ。できぬ。だと。忍びが情に流されるなど。なんと情けないことか。せがれよ。Uh-oh, now that is sad. 忍びの掟を忘れたか。掟は己で定める。そう決めました。我が主のように。あ、あ。<笑> <laughs> 
of a hoot. He is who stabbed me in the past. Right after Lady Butterfly, someone stabbed me right in the back. It was he. Throw stuff at me. Potions are disabled? Damn, that's what he got me with earlier. Also, I didn't rest between fighting the last boss and going for this one. <laughs> I'm seeing some mistakes. I'm not a very good uh, shinobi. Oh, here we go. Getting potion ready. <laughs> he is true owl. He's taking on, you know, literally the attributes of an owl. Owl dad. Oh god, he's got the firecrackers. I got the firecrackers too. Phase two out edge. Why is it that I don't feel safe approaching uh, our dad right now? I think he's got like another trick in his bag. Like I don't. Is is he really giving up? You know, I. Mm. Ah, oh, that makes you detarget him. Sneaky. Sneaky Dan.
How don't I get any uh, smoke bombs? Not worth it. I'm down. Man down. Oh no, poison? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness! That's my boy! Now that was, that was a good way to end it. Like, he died with class. That's my boy. Like, that, that was so cool. That was so cool. I that was a good boss. And I think Emma and Ishin are a harder boss because I just won this fight without remembering to refresh my health potions from the last boss that I did. So I just did two boss battles back to back and and won. Thought there'd be another phase. Yeah, I mean I I guess there could have been. Maybe there will be after I press OK on this, but I'm gonna read this out first. Um, the great shinobi owl was foster father to the wolf. That's really the only new bit of text there. Ooh, an aromatic branch. A smelling branch. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm not really sure why somebody wants that, but okay. Dried aromatic wood from the ever blossom plucked by the wolf's father. Oh my god, the guy who killed the ever blooming sakura tree was this guy? This guy wrecked it. 
Or maybe somebody else did and then we, he went and fetched it, but this was like the last ingredient we needed. And he brought it to us. We didn't even have to go out and get it. It was nice. Good dad. The other blossom is, is a Sakura tree, uh, and as such is right with nostalgia. Takaru would lightly gaze upon this branch when once it bloomed, reminded of home. One of the incense ingredients sought by the Divine Era for Immortal Severance. Cool. Oh, and I got my safe point back. Yum. That's what it was really all about. This time, I gotta remember to rest. Look at me doing the thing. Enhance attack power. Great Shinobi Owl's unbridled ambition was to obtain the power of the dragon's heritage. Now is the time to let one's true name ring out across all of Japan. It was all for the sake of this ambition. Okay, it's a bit weird. He was kind of helping for so long and then he just kind of very badly seized the power. Like, I probably would have helped him in the past before he shoved the, uh, the sword through my back. And he just like, he tries to kill me for absolutely no reason. And then he tries to go for the immortality. Just like in the least sneaky way possible. It's very weird. So here we go. This is, this is all new. Here on out. I don't think I can buy with one skill point, right? Okay. Let's see how Emma's doing now that she's not trying to kill me. オカミ殿、よくぞ参られました。死体はまだわかりませんが、あなたの体は世の断りから外れているようです。返事あれば私のところへ来てください。Wow, that's a bit of dialogue that you can get like in the first 10 minutes of the game and I never stopped to talk to Emma again to get it. Whoops. Kaisei same with that dialogue. There we go. She's just going to tell me about my furrowed brow all the time. She's really uninteresting a lot of the times you talk to her. I mean, she's very interesting when you give her booze, and that's about when she has an interesting good bit of story where she reveals she's a sword master and has a lot of common with monkeys it's just a much more interesting NPC than オオカミ。ゴブジで何を言う。袋は切りました。すまぬ。苦労様。すまぬ。なすべきことをなしたのです。オオカミ。<笑> ありがとう。父が。これを持っていました。これは。どこ桜の枝か。そうか。袋が。持っていたのか。はい。これでまた一つ。源の子に近づきました。ああ。そうだな。みこ様。この材料を手に入れました。おお、それが源の子の石か。妙な形をしておるな。やはり祀られておりました。そうか。竹る様の記されていた通りだったな。はい。その石のあった祭壇に家具らしく腰入れ立て祀る。そう書かれておりました。腰入れ。うん。それはどのようなところじゃ。岩戸の奥の洞窟です。うん。そのようなところから腰に乗りどこへ嫁に行くというのか。まあ。
考えても拉致が開かぬなかぐわしくん九郎様あの場は戦況の入り口なのやもしれませんそうかかぐわしくとは源の好機をまとうことそれを指しておるのやもしれぬな狼よようやくかなうなこれできっと源の好機を抱きしめることができるだろうさあ香炉に集めたものをくべてくれ Wait, why are we covering my clothes with the, with the thing? That wasn't part of the plan. Like, when did we decide to, like, rub the incense all over my character's clothes? I just, I. Huh? Okay. Miko-sama. Okami. Fushigirio. I'm not doing that again. Oh. <laughs> 胸のあたりを少し切っただけだこれが源の好機か何やら無性に懐かしいはいどうじゃ何か変わったことはあるか匂いとそれから源の宮その言葉が頭から離れませぬ源の宮タケル様が書き残されていた通りそこから戦況に通じているのだろうなその源の宮への生き方だがかぐわしく腰入れ立てまつる香りの石が置かれた祭壇にそう書かれていましたうんそなたは源の好機をまとっている岩戸の奥の腰に入れば源の宮への道が開けるだろう不死立ちはマジか頼むぞ狼よ行為 I thought we were just gonna activate a cutscene and the game was gonna end uh oh you, you said it exactly as I was saying it we, we both had the same thought same time I'm just like wasn't this gonna be the ending, maybe? But I guess not. I mean, I guess, um... I guess Grandad Ishin over there did say that, uh... Genuchiro... I'm saying that right, is coming back. So we've got one more fight with, with, with Lightning Bowman. I guess, if the characters in-universe know something that I don't. Maybe he's gonna be over here. Maybe he's, he's just gonna be... Where we're heading to. So it should be this. There should be a new secret door. If I'm understanding Kid Immortal right. Maybe I go inside? Oh, hello. An option to pray. Wait, don't put your sword down. Don't put your sword down, idiot. You need that. Is it gonna fly? What the... Frank. Oh god, I was in there. Oh god. Is that game over? Do I lose?
What the hell is happening? Is this a, a Studio Ghibli now? It. What? What? Oh my god! Is anyone else seeing this? Like, in the world, is anyone else like looking up and seeing this? Oh no! That was like the world's worst robot. Really? Oh, an achievement. Travel to all areas of the game, a Sheena Traveler. Dude, that's... That's a really spoiler achievement. Alright, fair enough. Anything that makes sense right now is that somewhere there's the dude that jumped out of the window after a fight with you. Yeah, the guy that yelled Zabadoo and just rolled out there into the thunder. We thought it's a DLC maybe. Well, I hope there's no DLC for this game. Like, I didn't see it and like I didn't purchase it during the sale if, if there was any. Yeah, I mean... I guess if, if you were interested, you probably should, because, um, you know, it's a very story-driven game rather than just, you know, make it to the next monster. Like, because there's a fixed character, I feel like there's strong connections to story going on here. Yeah, I mean, the second run definitely helps. Like, there's some bits that Sly... Sly watched, like, 99% of this, but there were some bits that was all like, oh, wow, I get to see this because it's the second playthrough. So it really worked out for him, for sure. Oh man, uh, I'm up here in like Rope Man Heaven, Rope Golem Heaven, and there's like a boss room over there. I think he's brought me to the end of the universe, like in a in a bad way. 